Well, Mark Steinmeier Sassani made the point that keeping America safe doesn't mean you have to be at war with Russia, but with so many lawmakers determined to make that country an enemy, perhaps a military foe, we may inevitably fall into a second Cold War. Seems like we're getting there quickly. President Ronald Reagan won the first Cold War and brought down the Soviet Union in the process. What can the rest of us learn from that example? As it happens, on the set tonight is Craig Shirley. He's a Reagan biographer. Written another book, a great one, called Reagan Rising, covering the years 76 to 80, just before Reagan came back to become president. Craig Shirley, it's great to see you. Thank you, Tucker. Good uh, to see you, too. You've written a lot on this president and on this period, many books on it. Did you ever think that you would grow old enough to see the Democrats pushing for a new Cold War? <laughs> no, I didn't. It's a new world, isn't it? It's really kind a of a new world. world order, right? It's kind of a new <laughs> world order. So, um, the debate in the 80s, of course, the 70s and 80s always was, Democrats are too soft on Russia. That right, was that exactly. was Reagan's position. Well, it was wasn't demonstrable. It? Yes. They were soft on the Kermit Rouge and uh, Pol Pot, and uh, were soft on arms control and uh, soft on, on the Soviet expansionism. Right. They were always soft on uh, the Soviet Union. Going back to, you know, George Kennan and the famous excommunique. So Reagan obviously hated Soviet communism. He said it a lot. How do yes. you feel about the Russians? The yeah, there was, he had, there was nothing, no animosity toward the Russian people, and he really knew, you know, he abhorred the idea of nuclear war. Yes. But he was obsessed with defeating the Soviet Union in a cold, in a cold war. But he knew that to beat an idea was with a better idea. He was once flying with uh, Frank Donatelli uh, over the Maryland suburbs on, in, in Marine One on his way to uh, Andrews Air Force Base, and he was looking idly out the window. Frank thought, and he said, "Frank said, Mr. President, what do you look? What do you see down there? What are you thinking about?" And he says, "I've got to get Gorbachev to see what we have here, yeah. because we have a better idea for governance. We have a better idea for prosperity and freedom and opportunity here than they have than they have there." So your book is about the years between Reagan's attempt to become the Republican nominee in '76, obviously right. lost it to John right. Ford, right. and then his victory in 1980. Right. What did he do that made that possible? What's the lesson of that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what the book is about, of course, is that he took advantage of every political opportunity that was handed him. And, of course, it was a time of the, almost a conservative enlightenment was coming into full uh, flower in America in the 1970s, is that we were rejecting the New Deal, we were rejecting the Great Society, and then the issues, the Panama Canal Treaties, Prop 13, tax cuts, Soviet expansionism in Afghanistan. The left was being proven wrong at every level. But, you know, you can't win an election just by being against something. You've got to be for something. Reagan is evolving as a conservative. So by the, 19, you know, in 1964, you remember the speech for Goldwater. Of course. Is that it, it, was, it was a great, great speech. But Reagan is often angry at the, in the speech. He's angry at the anti-war protesters. He's angry at the Great Society. He's angry at uh, uh, LBJ. By 1977, 78, he's now projecting a much more hopeful uh, message is that the answer is conservative. It's not just anti-liberalism, it's pro-conservatism. And this is what he's, he's doing all through the 1970s. He's, he's evolving as a conservative right. into a much more optimistic one. You've got to be for something. Maybe yes, that's the lesson. exactly. It's not yeah, and, he's, and everything is centered on human freedom, right. personal, private freedom. Right, so he had a framework yes. that all of it hung on, and he was for something. Yes. Very smart. Craig Shirley, thanks a lot. You bet, Tucker. Thank you. you.